Order of the First Shard In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself into. Once you reach the front desk, tell the person working there that you wish to see the holder of the first shard. Everything and everyone around you will immediately begin to age in a rapid fashion. The staff, the people, the appearance of the building. Notice nearby as a door begins to build itself. When this transition has ended, you have an option. Leave now and you will forget it all. Or enter the door and stare death in the eyes. If you decide to exit the building, memories of only a normal life will seep into your mind and life for you shall begin anew with no memories of your life as a seeker. Many seekers at their wit's end have done this to themselves on purpose, hoping to put out the fire that burns in them to find the objects. Your other option, of course, is to enter the door. When you go through the door, it will close behind you and slowly fade. You will now be in a long, ancient hallway. This hallway is filled with pictures of the ones you hold dearest at the time of their death. Do not allow this to sadden you. If it does, you will spend eternity in this hallway mourning for them. Proceed quickly through it and listen closely for the ticking of a clock. If it so happens to stop, shout out. I reject time's manipulation. If it is still stopped, there is nothing you can do but wait for your demise. If the ticking does continue, quickly approach the elegant door you will find at its end. Open it and step through. You will now be in a large room, one that's dimensions are hard to grasp. In its center is a woman whose age is so ancient that your mind will be hard-pressed to create a number for it. Her gray hair reaches across the floor, and she is dressed in a silver cloak. Kneel in front of her and patiently wait for her response. Say nothing lest you wish her to show you the true secret of her age. It's not as glorious as you might hope. Eventually, after a great period of time, she will ask you, Why seek the end of time? Respond with confidence. I only hope to keep them separated. Regardless of your intention, the hag shall sigh and begin showing you the terrible effects that aging had in different parts of history. Cities falling apart, information lost, and the invention of destructive tools, as well as the adverse effects they had. Your mind probably will not be too affected by what you see, but prepare yourself for what she will now show you. Those lost to age, all of them, all of their deaths will be shown to you in horrific detail. Never look away, unless you perhaps wish to feel the blade-like quality her fingernails have. You will be in tears by the end of this display. Once it is over, ask her, Can time be defeated? To which she shall respond, Only if they will it. Immediately close your eyes. You will open them to find yourself in your home. If you lack one, you will awake at the last place you slept. Find the nearest clock, and you will find a simple shard of glass, either on or inside the clock. The partial design of an hourglass remains upon it. Look in a mirror, and you may find yourself shocked to see that you either regained your youth or aged many years. What decides that depends on why you sought the object. 
that shard, the first shard, is object 267 of 538. Time can always be delayed, but only the worthy can vanquish it.